Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, guys. How's everything? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great, Ever, Thank you. What about you? I'm great too. A little tired, but we are here. <laughs> okay. Nice, Good guys. Evening. Good evening. Okay, so we'll continue. Um, remind me where we were yesterday. Uh, we were introducing the in their questions, right? Yes. This is the last part we we saw. I asked you to watch the video, right? It was the three point eight. Am I correct? Yes, teacher. So the indirect request. All right, now I have some questions for you. A second. What if something happens? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Sorry, guys, I have a mess here. And I need to clean it. Okay. Anyways, hmm. nice guys. So uh, remember that in some cases we don't have to use that. Okay, that is perfectly um, omitted in most of the sentences. For example, hey, can you tell um, can you tell Brandy the party is gonna be on Monday or on Saturday or Sunday? Yeah, you can just omit that. Can you tell a Brandy that? Can you tell your husband that? Can you tell your friend that? So you can not, you can use it or you don't have to use it. Like um, as a must, right? Can you tell um, Jancy, uh, we will have a, we will have homework today. Yeah, we don't say that most of the time. Okay, that's basically what the the topic is about also we have a regular statement regular statement it's like a sentence right and it says here tony is having a party uh vilma uh, teaches today okay now, if I want to tell somebody else, if I, I, I want to leave a message to somebody else, then we can say it in different ways. We can use what were the models that we saw. There are some, some of them here. Help me with the cameras, guys. ¿Qué pasó con todos los que están ahí? No sé si de verdad están con las cámaras. Ever, what happens to your camera? Voy a revisar otra vez qué pasó con las cámaras, chicos. Hoy se los voy a anotar porque todo el tiempo tenemos que preguntar lo mismo. ¿Ok? What happens to the camera? Um, Luis says the camera doesn't work, right? Or or uh, are you working today, Luis? Brandy, I know you always turn on the camera. It's not with you. I know that if you disconnect your camera, it's because you're doing something important. But the rest, I have the same problem. Amanda? Yes, teacher, I'm working right now. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, Amanda? Um, I'm here, teacher. Please turn on the camera, okay? I need to know if you're there, guys. Remember, I mean, you're supposed to be attentively listening and I am, well, I 
feel more comfortable to see your face because otherwise I cannot make sure that you are actually there. Marina Sanchez. Mm -hmm. This is the girl who, who never answers, right? She never answers. So let's pretend she's not there. Pablo, are you there? No? What are the messages? Can you read the messages? Ah, oh, Luis Madrid is working. And Jancy, who's Jancy? Oh, Jancy, are you sick or what happens? No, teacher, I'm logging to the computer right now. Okay, thank you. Please, guys, help me with the camera. So, Pablo and Marina. Mm. Oh, Marina sent something here. Sorry, I cannot turn the camera now. You never turn it on. I mean, that's my question. Why? Okay. Hello, teacher. Finally, finally. Hello. Hello. Hola, hello. Hello. Uh, the problem is uh, I in my in my punto de venta. I uh, I'm work. I am. Uh, I'm. Okay. Okay. You're and working today. Yes, I'm okay. working. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I'm working. Right? I'm working. Exactly. Okay. 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 No problem. No problem. Uh, Marina, Stephanie, turn on the camera, please. Vaya. Jancy, Jancy no me contestó. Marina, eh, está Hola, aquí, eh. working. Yeah. Oh, Jancy, Jancy, Andrea, are you there? Yes, I said you. I'm logging in the computer. No, tell me something here, here personally. I don't see the chat, guys. I don't see the chat. So uh -huh. Tell me if there's something else. Ever, what happens to your camera? Sorry, I don't remember. All right, teacher. I cannot turn it off now. It's very, it's very hot in my house. <laughs> Get it. Okay. Well, guys, chocolate, artesanal, tablillas. So you see, she's really working. Then you see that, yes, indeed, she's working. So, uh, and thank you, then, Marina, for being uh, connected. Uh, maybe when you have a, like a few minutes available, you're listening, and I hope that you uh, take advantage of the class, the time that you're able to. Okay. So um, it's the first time I see her face, by the way. Hey, Andrea, Jancy, Andrea, nice to see you. Nice to see you guys. Uh, um, let's see, what else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who, um... Guys, so what were the requests or the models that we were talking about yesterday? To make models, to make requests. Um, we were talking about um, Cam, Cool, Will, Will You Be Okay? Those ones. Yeah, but normally those are expressions. Thank you, Jonathan. But also we can use, um, let's see, guys, I have something here. Mm -hmm. We say can. Could somebody said something else? Remind wonder, me, please. I wonder. I wonder. Would you mind? Would you mind? Yes. May. Mm -hmm. May. That's the one. So we say would. Okay. Let's start from the very, uh, like, common to the more, uh, to the most formal. Okay. So we can say can. You? We continue with could. And then we can say, uh, may, may you please, okay? Um, um, may you tell my husband to pick me up later? Yeah. And then may, we can say also will. And the other that is very polite is would, 
Okay, those are models. What are the structure? You, you just say can. Okay, so the, the model, you know, the models in here are this, okay? Let me make it bigger. Can, could, may, or would, those are the models that we normally use. So, we use model. What's the structure? Plus the subject to make okay. direct questions, to make direct questions or requests. Okay? The questions request. Mm. I don't. Your questions or requests. So model plus subject, and then um the verb. The verb. That's it. Normally, that's the way that we make questions, right? Model plus. Hey, can you can you help me? Um, could you? Could you uh, lend me some money? Could you uh, tell me? Could you tell me the time? Or could you tell? Could you tell me? Okay, that's the regular um, request. That's the direct question, right? But to make it indirect, we change it. How do we change it? We can say, "Can you? Can you? Whatever model, yes. Plus subject." Can you tell or ask, remind, what else? What else can we say? Ask, remind, something else, guys? It comes to your mind. Request. Mm -hmm. Who you maybe, request? Uh huh. Maybe let. Oh yeah. Can you please let 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 somebody let let know? All right. Let somebody know. Let him know. Can you please let him know that the party will be later? Okay. Then this the the model plus the subject who you're talking to, to who you're asking something or you're requesting something, can you tell? And then we say the object. A quien le vamos a pedir que le diga las cosas, right? Can you tell? Plus object. And we have, if it's a regular command, Can you remind him a regular command that? Ahí decimos that. Podríamos omitir el that, remember? Si es un command, cualquier cosita que so, es como un... Ok, puedes decirle que la fiesta, la fiesta comienza a las nueve. Just to give an example. An example. Can you tell... Oscar, Brandy, Jonathan, that, puede ser omitido, remember, that, y ustedes dicen el mensaje directo, ok, por ejemplo, si es un regular structure, the party starts, starts, sorry, it's here, the party starts at 2 p.m., solo copio esto, Y ya doy el mensaje, yes. Can you tell somebody that this is, this is, this Ahora, si yo doy un uh, command o como un imperative, yeah? When I say something, imperative means como hace esto o no hagas esto, yes? Un imperative. It's like when you are giving commands. Casi que como estar dando una orden, ¿verdad? Una sugerencia. So, 
For example, eh, take me or pick me up. Yo quiero que alguien, por ejemplo, le puedo pedir a Carla. Ok, Carla, hey, pick me up. At 2 p.m., at 1 p.m. to go to the party. Vamos a ir a la misma fiesta, por lo tanto, me voy a ir a la una. Quiero que me pase trayendo a la una. Entonces, ese, un, ese es un imperative, ¿ok? Y negativo sería don't. Don't pick me up so late. No vengas tan tarde, ¿ok? O don't come, or don't come too late. Vaya, ¿cómo lo diríamos entonces aquí con un imperative? Ahí ya no necesitamos decir that. How do you form it? In a polite mode. Because it's already imperative, right? Yes, exactly. Pero es como, hey, maybe, maybe haga la tarea. Okay? Sí, pero yo le digo, mire, por favor, eh, Brandy, dígale a Brandy que haga la tarea. Dígale a Maybe que haga la tarea. ¿Cómo lo diríamos ahí? Please. Puede decir, can you please? Y ahí están todas las, todas las expresiones que vimos ayer, ¿verdad? Would you mind? Do you mind? Y las otras eran las que acabamos de ver en el video. Aquí. Ahí está. Can you? Could you? Could you ask? Y todas estas que estábamos viendo aquí. Do you mind? I was wondering if you could, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Podríamos decir entonces las que me dijeron, right? Can, could, I wonder. ¿Cuáles son? ¿Cuáles eran los otros? Especialmente, can you tell? Can you or could you? Would you tell? Will you tell? Will you ask? So, for imperative, vean el ejemplo. Or do you want to watch the video before? ¿Quieren ver el video para que eh, nos enfoquemos un poquito más de lo que estamos hablando? ¿O oh, ya lo vieron? Creo que vimos esto, ¿o no? Yes, please. ¿Eh? <risa> Veámoslo entonces para los que no han tenido tiempo de ver el videito y estamos, pues, vemos el ejemplo de cómo es que formamos el indirect request. Entonces, ¿Cómo dejamos, dejamos, por ejemplo, un mensaje a alguien? ¿sí? Mire, dígale a Ernesto que como no está Ernesto, lo llego a buscar. Mire, dígale, le voy a contar algo. Last time I saw uh, three dogs who were biting another dog. They almost killed a dog. And there were three of them trying to bite the dog. And the, the dog, the little dog, it was like a puppy. It was almost dead. So I went to somebody's house, the owner of this dog, and I, uh, he wasn't there. So I was going to tell him, please take the dog with to your house because he's gonna die. The other dogs will kill it, will kill him. Do you, you get me? You understand what I mean, right? So, yes. but he wasn't there. So I let, or I left the message to, a, to her neighbor or to his neighbor, in this case, it was a man, to his neighbor, and I, and, I, and I told her, hey, can you please tell Bertie, who, who was the owner, that his dog is about to die, okay? Eso que su, su, su perro se va a morir, ¿verdad? lo van a matar. The, the, his dog uh, will be killed by the other dogs. That's another, that's one, but there's another. For example, dígale que van a traer el, el perrito. Esa fue como un command casi, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah? como algo muy imperative. Si no, se lo van a matar. So, tell him to go. Ahí voy a ocupar un imperative y ahí estamos hablando el to con el infinitive. Si se fijan con los imperative, ocupamos infinitivos. ¿Qué es lo que significa un infinitive? Que ponemos, ya no digo, hey, you go to, the, to, the, to take the dog. No, go to take your dog. It's an imperative. All right. O don't go, ya es en negativo, pero eso es cuando yo lo digo directamente. Si no, le digo, please tell eh, Bertie not to leave the dog out. ¿Sí? Dígale que no deje el, el perro en, afuera. Right? So, pay attention to the video, guys, and then we can continue uh, 
doing some examples with the imperative or. We can see how the structure changes depending in, on the type of sentence. So, indirect to someone request who is request. not present or not available. Let's say, for example, you call a person and the person is not there. Um, and you leave a message for that person. Well, this is what we call an indirect request. So let me present some structure. If you see the chart on the screen, we can see how this structure changes depending on the type of sentence. So if we have statements, imperatives, yes and no questions, and WH questions, those will be different whenever we change them to indirect requests. Uh, now I'll be discussing this individually. Uh, and then um, we're going to try to make sense of all of them together. The idea is to be able to make, uh, to, to take any kind of um, sentence and then change that to a form of indirect request. So in this particular lesson, we're going to focus with the first one, with statements. So as we can see, um, statements are quite easy to change, right? We have a statement there, Jeff, Tony's having a party. So that statement, we change it to an in indirect request. You call, um, maybe uh, maybe Jeff, uh, Jeff the assistant, uh, and uh, you want to give a message to him because he was not available. And then you you um, you tell um, the assistant, uh, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? All right. So it's quite easy, right? We just kind of like introduce, could you tell? And here we're going to introduce uh, the person who uh, that message is for. So remember that what you're doing is you're leaving a message with Jeff's assistant. Uh, and then Jeff's assistant will, do, will then give that message to him. So it's quite simple, right? So what we want to do is uh, we want to um, uh, leave um, quite a few messages for Jeff. Uh, and then we want to practice changing those statements into indirect requests. In this case, we're going to practice uh, changing those uh, statements to indirect requests introduced by uh, that. So the first one that we can see there is, okay, Jeff, uh, Tony is having a party. That's the message. Uh, so how would I give the message to the receptionist or to his assistant? Um, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? By the way, the reason you see that in parentheses is because that is optional. That means that you can either say, could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Or you could just include it. You could say, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? So let's write a couple of other um, uh, statements, if you will. All right, and these are messages that I want to give uh, to uh, Jeff's uh, receptionist, right? Uh, let me, I'll change the size a little bit so that you can see that pretty clear. So how do we change this next statement? Jeff, Tony is going to invite everyone from work. All right, so once again, we want to deliver the message. We want to leave the message with the receptionist. So um, could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to invite everyone from work. So basically, the only thing that we did um, is, if you see, this is the message, right? And what we did is we just pretty much sort of like have the same thing. We only added, and I'm going to highlight that in red, we only added, could you tell Jeff that? Right, because that the message is for Jeff once again. Right? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to invite everyone from work? Now highlight that in yellow so you can see. So this was the only thing that we added, and we're going to do the same thing for other kind of statements. Uh, and so let's play around with other kinds of statements real quick. Um, let's see something related to a party, right? And we want to give the message to Jeff. All right. Um, okay. Um, so let me change the size a little bit. So Jeff, Tony is gonna have a lot of food and drinks at the party. So how can we change this to an indirect request or an indirect message? Well, first of all, I mentioned that um, at this point, because everything is directed towards uh, Jeff, uh, we want to say, "Could you tell Jeff that?" And we're simply gonna copy this, as you can see, right? And by the way, uh, something that I forgot to do was I just forgot to add this question mark here, right? All 
Yeah, it's a request, okay. so we yeah. always make the, the question mark at the end. Uh, so it's quite simple, as you can see, right? Uh, let's do one more. Um, what's the message? Well, I want to also give another message to Jeff, and this message is going to be... All right, um, Tony is going to have a DJ who is going to play all kinds of music, right? So once again, what is it that we want to do? Well, uh, quite simple. We're going to just borrow this. Could you tell Jeff that? All right. And we're simply going to just, uh, the, the message, we don't change much on the message at this point, right? It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, so could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to have a DJ who is going to play all kinds of music, right? That's the message that I want to give to, uh, to Jeff. Ooh, that was very long, but I hope that you have a better uh, understanding or better explanation about what we were talking about. And example, we have regular sentences. For example, guys, my cell phone doesn't work. Dígale a mi mami que mi teléfono no funciona. Uh -huh. Puede decir también, can you please tell? O solo decir, please tell. And con el please ya digo prácticamente todo, ¿verdad? Please tell my mom. That my phone is not working. Oh, tell, please tell my mom, uh, my cell phone is not working. Okay. Y si yo les digo eh, el imperative, okay, ahí estoy dando como una sugerencia, right? We're giving a suggestion. And this is, hey, don't be late. Yeah, no te tardes. Uh, dígale, mami, que me llame. ¿Cómo lo diría? Tell my mom to call me. That's very good. Please tell or ask. Okay. Um, ask or tell. You can you can use both. Um, or could you, will you, will you? Ahí podemos ocupar cualquiera de los tres que les estaba mencionando, right? Cualquiera de de estos. Teacher. Yes. In the way the ideas um, also we can use please at the end of the phrase. Of course. But yeah. Mm -hmm. it Definitely. Does, it, it's okay. you can yeah, instead of say, could you can you you can just say uh, tell my mom to call me, please. Or correct, please tell correct. my mom to call me. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Okay. It's the okay. same, definitely. And okay. you can omit can, right? But can is to make it very, very polite. Mm -hmm. So Perfect. there you go. Do, those are eh, so in negative. No se te olvide el teléfono porque lo tenemos que arreglar. Uh -huh. Don't forget. Yo le digo, don't, for don't forget. <laughs> le voy a escribir aquí. Otro imperative in negative. Don't come so late. ¿Cómo era entonces? Please. Le vamos a decir okay. a mi mami, ¿verdad? Okay, please. Please. Please don't. tell. Exactly. Please oh. tell or ask. Mm -hmm. no, no. Oh, let her know, let my mom know, sí, el, 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 el verbo, perdón, el sujeto no. digamos que va a ser nuestra mamá, ¿verdad? Oh, my mom or your daughter, como usted quiera, quiera, ¿ok? Let my mom know that, that, el that, acuérdense que no siempre lo necesito, ¿ok? That, pero para eh, eso es en imperativo, si yo le digo que... Please, mami, pick me up at 1 p.m. Pero no está y le digo a mi hermano, decirle a mi mami que me vaya a traer la una. You can say, can you please, or could you please, could you tell, y el please se lo puedo omitir, ¿verdad? Depende qué tanto, qué tanto, pues, quiera ser usted. Tan educada, sí. Educado, sí. Ahí al jefe, ahí. Por favor, jefecito, jefecita. El hermano, hey, decirle a mami que venga a traer vos. ¿Sí o no? We say we we have more informal conversation. So it depends how to, how to how you want to to ask something. So please yeah. could be omitted. Yes. Yeah. Uh, is another way. It's too much formal. 
Uh, which one? Sorry. Which way? Down. Down. Which? Uh... Yeah, I, I read it on the Bible. It is all languages. It's shall. It's something like that. Oh, shall. Sorry. Shall. Shall. Yeah, yeah. Shall. shall. yeah. Yeah, it could be also a similar word to will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that is kind of formal. And that is like uh, when you're making a question directly. Shall we dance? Uh, it's Correct. very, very formal. And it's, as you say, it's kind of like thick vocabulary. It's not very mm -hmm. common, but it's super formal, as you said, especially in uh, written texts Correct. and the Bible, of course, right? Okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Show. It's another way to to. Hey, shall we go to the party? You can ask it. You can say it. But as I mentioned, it's super super formal, and I don't listen to this expression too often. But it it exists. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. The mm -hmm. the Britons used very used uh, common. It's a phrase it's, very common, but now in uh -huh. U.S. right. British most most of the time they use it more, and especially in written language. Yes, more more okay. more in written uh, language. Yes. Okay. So can okay. you tell? Remember, can you? Will you? Show you? You can also say show you. As I mentioned, it's not that very common, but you can say can, could, would you tell? Can you please tell? Um, would you mind, si de ocupan, ocupamos el would you mind, ¿se acuerdan cuál era la estructura? Would you mind, ¿te importaría? I was wondering if you could tell my mom. Ajá, ahí un montón de formas que teníamos, que, que podíamos decirlo. Ayúdenme entonces. Ajá. Sorry que, que te, no, no terminamos la idea aquí. We didn't finish the idea, but please, please uh, tell my mom. Uh -huh. Mom, pick me up at 1 p.m. I need to go to the party. Please tell, tell my mom to pick me up at 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. Y que no venga tarde. Please don't be late. Please. Yeah. Uh, que a ella, que no venga tarde. Please tell my daughter uh, and tell her don't be late. No. Oh, don't be late, correct. No, 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 no. Sí, lo podemos decir así, pero eh, miren acá el ejemplo, el, el ejemplo que tenemos aquí. Indirectamente ya diría que no venga tarde, sería not to be late. Aquí, no sé si se fijan acá. So in this case, it, it should be and tell her not to be late. Exactly. And tell her lo mismo que aquí. Not to be late. Okay. Please, uh, can you please tell my mom not to be late? Okay. Now we have the, um, the um, let's see what else. Let me move this. Hoy sí se lo voy a tapar para que, para que veamos, para que ustedes me ayuden sin ver nada. Okay. Voy a tapar la siguiente columna. I will cover this column here. Okay. So, we have for yes and no questions, we can have the regular, uh, like the verb to be, all right? Are you, is he, are they? So, regular question. Um, we have this example. Are you free today? Are you free tonight? Um, you can say also, will you have lunch tomorrow? Quiero preguntarle a mi mamá si va a ir conmigo a la fiesta. Ah, y sería would you mind? ¿Qué sería después si ocupo would you mind en lugar de ser will o would? O... De Jero. De Jero, right. Ajá, uh -huh. so would you mind? Telling, telling my mom. Exactly, my mom. telling my mom. Or asking. O asma, asking my mom to pick me up later or not to come late okay yeah good job you remember very well how to use the wood uh, mind right the expressions with the mind 
Now, the yes, no questions, we can use will. So, mom, will you, will, will you go to the party with me? Le voy a preguntar a mi mamá, but she's not there. So I'll leave her message. What is the question? Indirect question or indirect request? Can you ask my mom? Can you, can you would you? Yeah. If she ask my mom if she going to the party with me. Please ask my mom. You can say also, please ask my mom, will you? Mm, sorry, aquí ocupamos otro. Eh, would you, le dirías a mi mamá, can you tell, can you ask my mom if she will go very to the good. party she with me? She will go, eso es súper fácil, ¿va? Will she go, will you go, if she will go. Aquí es pregunta indirecta, right? Okay, the other. If it's um. Let's see. Du, du, du. Are you busy, mom? Why don't you answer me? Are you busy? Could you ask? Could you ask? My mom is my mom if she is busy. Good job, super easy, nice. And now we can use the other form. Um, do you have um? Something to drink? Do you have something to drink? Ask a question. Remember, we're asking about my mom, okay? We, leave, we have the direct question, then you give me the indirect question for my mom. Could you ask to my mom? Ask my mom, ask yeah. If she has something to drink. Good job, if she has something to drink. Good job, guys. So, ya hicimos uno con el simple present, o con el futuro y con el present también usando do, ocupando nada más is, am, or are también. She's. She's busy. Ya, ya lo pusimos, solo que no lo dejé aquí. Ok. So, with WH questions. Hagamos esta, vamos a ver si vieron el video. When does the party start? Do you know um, when the English question? Would you ask my mom when the party you... starts? Would you, can you, uh -huh, do you mind asking my mom? When will when the, the party, party start? start? Yeah, when the party starts. Con la S, ¿verdad? Yeah. When, when does comienza? the party, if you're talking about her, when? When does the party? Esa es la direct question. Aquí está la direct questions. Oh. Pero la indirect questions ya se pone así. así. When the, party, When the starts. party starts. Ajá. Starts with the yeah. S at the end. Exactly. Así es como la, la fiesta comienza a las... O sea, ya no es una pregunta, sino que la hacemos como una estructura, no, como una afirmación. No forma de pregunta. It's not like a regular question. So that is what we are practicing right now. Okay, guys. Uh, another. Uh, who? Let me ask another question. Who? Who will you go to the party with? Mm -hmm. 
do you know uh, with who my mom will go to the party? Okay, good. Do you know it's another expression? Pero pues, si también le quiero decir, eh, le puedes preguntar si va a ir conmigo o con quién va a ir. Okay? Uh, so you can, yeah, but you can say, can you ask? Do you know también? Si podríamos decir, ¿sabes? Can, Pero can si we, le quiero pregunta, preguntar, sería de otra forma. Carla? Can we say, may I know who's going to the party with you? Yeah, but that's not direct. That is not in, in the request. I oh, mean, yeah. si es un indirect, indirect questions, pero no le estamos, no le estamos trasladando a otra tercera persona, sino uh -huh. que directo. Ahí le estoy preguntando, hey, may I know who will you go to the party with? Puedo saber, okay. eh, aquí como le digo, lo que vimos en el video es, how can you leave a message to someone? ¿Cómo hacer una pregunta a otra persona que ta, cuando no está? Y se la dejamos a otra persona. Pues a alguien que le dé su recado. Ok, basically ah. that's it. But of course, may I know who Or, you, you will go to the party with. También es un indirect question. Si se fija, la estructura va a ser la misma. Ok, who you will, no who will you. ¿Verdad? Aquí es who will you, aquí es who you will. Porque no es una, una pregunta directa. Muy bien, Carla, sí se puede, yeah. obvio. Claro. Or maybe, uh, could you ask my mom who's going to the party with her? It's another way to express it. Guys, there are so plenty of, uh, of different ways to form or to express the ideas. Definitely, you can do it. But according to the examples we just studied, we can also say, can you ask, can you tell, can you ask my mom? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería lo último? Who, you will, who she, will, she will go to the party with. Very good. Who, o podemos decir with whom también, ¿verdad? Sí, with whom. ¿Con quién? En lugar de decir who with, aquí, with, podemos decir with whom she will go to the party. Ok. Go to the party with, etc., guys. So that's it. Then we are ready to make. Um, let me see. To do the exercise, the next exercise. What time? Miren, okay. What time should I pick you up? Can you ask Sophia what time should I pick her up? We're always up talking about a third person. So 3.9, the indirect and using infinities. I know. Sorry. Can you tell this person not to call me, please? Miren, díganle a esta persona que no me llame, okay? Not to call me. Esos son los infinitivos, okay? Eso es lo que estamos haciendo, okay? Decirle que me llame. Please tell my mom to call me. Okay. Oh, you tell the teacher put the mute this one. <laughs> yeah, can you tell the teacher to put to put the mute uh to put the cell phone on silent mode? Yeah, I know Brandy, I know. Mm -hmm. Good example, good example. Okay. Just was part of the class, just was an example. This not I know, okay. I know, I know. <laughs> no problem. So guys, there's another, I don't know if you have watched this, but this is basically what the same that we have been talking about, okay? Can you tell this person, can you, okay? Normalmente va a ser siempre, can you, could you, would you tell, y a quién le voy a decir. Si es negativo, pues le pongo not to, not to come late, not to have the cell phone oh, on, um, oh, in sound mode, all right? Not to, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más me, me podrían decir? Dígale a la teacher que no nos deje tarea. Please tell the teacher. Not to let not homework for us. Not, not to leave homework. Uh -huh. Can you tell the teacher to check the homework today? Uh -huh. Puede decirle a la teacher que revise la tarea de ahora. Ajá. Uh -huh. Les pedí que vieran algunos verbos que son 
que siempre llevan infinitivos. Bueno, ahorita vemos los infinitives, pero también ayer estuvimos medio mencionando los gerundios, ¿verdad? Mine es uno, ¿ok? Expresión con don't mind, do you mind, would you mind. Siempre que lleva mind, le vamos a poner, pues, si va a otro verbo, pues, vamos a ocupar on gerund. We're going to use an, a gerund. But there were some others. ¿Cuáles, ¿Cuáles otros? Antes que se me olvide, before I forget. Uh, please remind me which verbs do you remember that we normally use them with gerund, in a gerund form. Enjoy. Don't, enjoy. Very good. Don't tell me you don't know because I know that this topic has been uh, has been taught in different um, in previous models. Estoy más que segura que ya lo vieron en otros módulos. Okay. Y hasta había una lista ahí. There are many, many, many more. But you haven't. You have enjoy. Okay. Todos los que estamos hablando como de experiencia, ¿verdad? Like, enjoy, hate, mind, dislike, um, don't mind. What else? Can't stand. Agree. What else? Agree. Agree. Very good. Agree. Mm -hmm. Afford. Afford. Yeah. Appear. Appear. Bleed. Mm. Line. Care. Care. Mm -hmm. Consent. Can't stand. In consider. Expect. Mm, bueno, si todos esos los encontró Sullivan, ¿ya? Yeah? Son un montón, guys. There are so many. And some of them can be used either or. Algunos sí pueden ser utilizados de las dos formas, con infinitivo, ¿all right? Pero ese es listado que tiene Sullivan, por fácil, nos lo puede mandar para que todos lo vean. Eh, yo sure. tengo yo tengo más, obviamente, pero los más comunes que incluso estaban en una clase, ¿ok? Ahí tenemos, ya dijimos, love, like, hate, uh, don't mind. Can to start, stand. To stop, suggest, tolerate. Correct. Ah, very good. To tolerate, what else? Hello. Allow. Yes, enjoy. No, allow no. Allow, sí. allow no. Allow me to. Ese es un infinitivo. She allows me to watch TV just for one hour. Ella me permite. Ese es, ese es solo infinitivo. Allow me, sí, es infinitivo. Solo infinitivo. Ok. Uh, we have admit, for example. And Brandy mentioned one that is very, very curious because the meaning is a little different. Le voy a poner un ejemplo rapidito. Which Con one? el stop. Stop. Ah, stop. Yeah. Give me an example, Brandy, please. No, please. Porque puede, puede ser de las dos formas, pero el, el, el ex. Eh, the, uh, the meaning is completely different. There you see, guys. Ahí pueden ver el, el, la, 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 el link de donde los, los ha sacado Sullivan. Ok. Súper fácil, ¿verdad? Solo que hay que practicarlos y si es posible hacer un, un par de ejemplos, ¿verdad? Para que se nos quede un poquito más, más fácil en la, pues, en nuestra memoria, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I like, I dislike. Hmm. Eh, alguna vez creo que estuvimos diciendo qué es lo que nos gustaba y qué es lo que no. I can't stand people talking at the same time or people interrupting. Ahí estábamos ocupando gerundio también. Ok. So, um, Stop. Example, Brandy. ¿Qué ejemplo me puede dar? Este puede ser de las dos formas, pero el mm, significado varía. Ya les voy a explicar por qué. ¿Ok? Give your example, teacher, please. I don't want to make ay, a Ay, come on. Come on. Vaya, pues. Vaya, very good. So, look. I stop. Um, pare. I stopped. I stopped. Y ustedes pueden decir a dónde. Se fijan. At the gas. Es como pasar a la gas. O al super, whatever. I stopped at the gas. To. ¿Para qué? ¿Para cuál fue mi intención, mi motivo? O eh, la razón, ¿verdad? O, o um, el propósito de bajarme o de parar ahí. All right. I stopped to the, at the gas. Pero si yo no digo y me paré. Me detuve, yeah, I was driving, obviously, remember, depends on the context. I stopped 
to check if I had a flat tire. Me paré para ver si tenía una llanta pacha. ¿No les pasa a ustedes que a veces se bajan para revisar algo del carro? ¿Sí? O se detienen para hacer pipí. Ya, yeah? you stop to go to the bathroom. Sí, se detienen en algún lado to go to the bathroom. Ok, so en este caso es un infinitive para que veamos a qué nos referimos con el infinitive. Si, te, si le pongo así, I stop eating uh, shrimps. Because they have too much cholesterol. Por cualquier motivo. ¿Por qué paró de hacer eso? ¿Por qué dejó de fumar? Ah, si yo digo, por ejemplo, I stop smoking, es que yo dejé de, de hacerlo, descontinué esa, esa cosa. Pero si yo digo, I stopped to smoke, me paré para fumarme el cigarrito. Right? So... Esa, esos son algunos eh, de los verbos, guys, que pueden ser utilizados de las dos formas. Sin embargo, el, digamos, el mensaje puede pues, ser un poco diferente. All right. Uh, anyways, you know the list of the verbs, guys. You, I hope that you, uh, you remember some of them. Y um, por lo menos unos 10, guys. Les voy a dar los más comunes. Ok. So. Take notes, si los que no hicieron la tarea, por lo menos esto sí necesito que para mañana me lo digan todos, ¿ok? So, copy, 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 ¿ok? Um, love, hate, like, be, o don't be good at. Eso también son expresiones, ¿verdad? Be good at. O not to be good at. Be good. So, I am good at uh, memorizing or I'm not good at memorizing. Expresiones también de como esas. Uh, I say also, don't mind. I don't mind spending every day. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Okay. The other is can stand. That means can tolerate. You cannot tolerate person who is yelling all the time. So enjoy, as mm, you said, mm, maybe. Mm -hmm. And we say be interested. I'm interested in learning more languages. Interest. Be interested. I am interested. Forget. Hmm. I forget putting gas, so I have to return to the gas station. Forget. Keep. Hmm. You keep talking all the time and you never stop. You never stop talking. Stop. Ahí tenemos stop, que puede ser de las dos formas. Miss. I miss going to the university because I love to go to, uh, I love to see my my partners or classmates postponed i postponed learning uh, learning french because it was too difficult and i couldn't afford it afford can afford alguien lo dijo can afford es más can afford to ese sí es infinitivo ese no no hay admit another advice appreciate Complete, consider, los más comunes, guys. Deny, discuss, prefer, quit, recommend. Vaya, por lo menos. Eso ya es también. Uh, son un montón. La lista las pueden tener ahí, pero por lo menos estos 20, estos 20 que les he dado 22, porfa, sí, acordémonos de esos, porque siempre estamos hablando mal, vea. Dice, I admit to, to eat too much. No, I admit eating too much. I admit eating the, the cake. I'm sorry, mom. Sí, admito que me comí el pastel, lo siento. Okay, so I say love, like, hate, not good at, not be, not be good or, be, or don't be good at, 
or not to be good at, don't mind, can stand, enjoy, be interested, forget, keep, miss, postpone, admit, advise, appreciate, complete, consider, deny, discuss, prefer, quit, recommend. Por lo menos 10 me dicen de esos. Okay, that's another homework. Remember, the homework was for today. But, of course, uh, I will give you more time to uh, for you to learn more, for you to... Uh, uh, to remember more more uh, gerunds, when to use gerunds, okay? Después de estos, va gerundio. Podemos decir, por ejemplo, remember, como les dije, I like to listen to music, yeah? Pero si, normalmente se ocupa con, con ING. I like listening to music. I like watching TV. I like uh, practicing sports. I like riding bicycle, all right? Et cetera, guys. Any questions so far? Do you want we <clears throat> write one sentence for each one? Or what? Just try to learn them. Learn them. Yeah, uh, yeah I I remember that the first like the first homework I assigned there were just two students who did the homework. So sometimes it's kind of disappointing for me to be like asking for examples and you don't do it. So I prefer you to do it by yourself. If you if you want to do it, that's great. Remember, is the more you practice, the better uh, English you have. The more you practice, mm, the more knowledge you have as well. And you learn more. You you are more conf, uh, confident about yourself when you're talking, etc. But I remember the other homework that I didn't check was that you gave me some of them characteristics or personalities and you will give me some examples who did it i did it solo susan y brandy me lo hizo mm -hmm. teacher you only had three minutes of thank you yeah i was checking that i was checking that okay. <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> yesterday yesterday <laughs> I, I i i finished the class a little bit later that and i arrive late to the other class so yeah that's not the point so guys it was this is the same thing that we were just doing at this time okay the infinitive is when you use to or not to okay can you tell my mom to what to cook for me uh to prepare lunch for me not to prepare fish okay whatever esos son los infinitives Mm, 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 the si se fijan, lo mismo, sigue otra vez, the same thing. But this time, tomorrow, we will check it. Um, We will work on this video, which is kind of short. Creo que este sí dura como cinco, cuatro minutos o menos. It lasts a little bit less than the rest. No, Higher. five minutes. But. Please watch it. Why? Because we normally use if instead of whether. And people use it very often as well. This expression, whether. Okay, so watch this video as well. Or we will watch it later tomorrow. And as you see, there are many examples here. So please watch the videos and then we can discuss it tomorrow. We can... um give more examples remember the more you practice the better on hi everyone this the is the one class, that you'll learn how to tomorrow. make indirect requests so we use indirect and we will do the knowledge check tomorrow as well in the meantime guys is there any question or something else that uh that you need to to add so just... teacher, right now for me, it's clear. Okay. So far, good. so far it's okay, teacher. Thank you. So far, so right. good. So <laughs> have a blessed night, guys. And yeah, I will start the class on time today because yeah, <laughs> yesterday I gave you two more minutes, so I need to leave right now. And well, blessing. Nice to see you guys, especially Michelle. I don't see her very often in the class. All right. You were very quiet, so the. Uh, what I'm going to do is to ask you directly some examples tomorrow. So please, guys, uh, another homework.
Ok, ya les dije, la homework de ayer era eh, aprender los gerundios, algunos gerundios. Para mañana, háganme direct questions para y ustedes se las van a hacer a alguno de los, de los compañeros para que las hagan en indirect questions, ok? See you tomorrow, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. See bye, you. take care. Blessings, bye. guys. Bye. Bye. Two minutes. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Bye, bye.